are the leaves disappearing? What the heck? Do you, are you eating them? Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here and welcome back to the land of dinosaurs. I'm just kidding, it's Shadowcraft. So in case that didn't give the game away in today's episode, we're going to be hatching some of our dinosaur eggs, which I have cleverly hidden away in the secret room. So to retrieve them, we're going to need some raw rats. I'm sorry that I've shown you guys this room like 12 times already, but it's just freaking awesome. I mean, oh, look at this. Boop. Isn't that perfect? This is so cool. So our dinosaur eggs are in here. I can't escape that way. Let's get out of here. Oh yeah, ow, there's pain involved. Oh no, that reminds me, my helmet is about to die. <laughs> so I'm gonna teleport back to the main house because there I have a washing machine so I can clean my armor. Oh, so let's just pop the whole set in. Here we go. And that'll be spick and span in no time. Let's also fix our diamond sword while we're here, cause why not? Okay, so our armor is ready to be worn again. Oh yeah, that's right, so delicious. And let's grab our sword as well. So let's head back to the almighty treehouse of secrets, where we shall proceed to build Jurassic Park 2.0. So since the last episode, I've had some suggestions, so let's go to the laboratory. We're gonna have to open the secret door behind the grand piano. Here we go. So what I was told by my cousin is that stone tablets can only be used in the dark and not in the light. So let's teleport to the fossil hunting hut. And let's just go down into our... F what the heck is that? Oh. Let's just go down into the cave where we usually hunt our fossils. Like, will here work? Oh, <gasps> whoa, that's cool. So they do work, but only in the dark. Okay, okay, I like that, that's cool. So I think we should first build an enclosure for the Brachiosaurus, and I would like to build that over there in the green pastures, because I happen to know that Brachiosauruses are vegetarians and they feed off the vegetation on the land, and this is the most fertile land, so this is where they'll be the happiest. So, here we are. I quickly built, I say quickly, it took me a really long time. I built some pens to keep the dinosaurs in. I did this in creative because I actually lined the pens with solid bulletproof glass to keep the dinosaurs inside so they can't harm anyone. And this huge cage is obviously for the Brachiosaurus because I believe that is the biggest dinosaur. This is a slightly smaller cage. And then we've got two more cages up here, which are also pretty small. Hopefully the dinosaurs actually fit inside them. So let's hatch the Brachiosaurus egg here in this huge pen. Hopefully this is big enough. I'm not sure that the glass is gonna hold our Brachiosaurus in. I did read somewhere that they can destroy blocks, so this could end badly, but um, I also got a Dinopedia so I can check on my egg to check how far along it is to hatching, so probably just another minute or so. We have to stay within range while it hatches, but then once it's hatched, we can start to customize this pen to be a perfect habitat for our little Brachiosaur. Almost there. Prepare yourselves for the magnificent, the wonderful, the fantastical Brachiosaur. Hello. He kind of looks like he's wearing a top hat. <laughs> So a quick search of the Google machine has told me that a Brachiosaurus needs to be fed using a feeder, so I'm gonna have to craft a feeder. How does one craft a feeder? Oh no, I hate stone. But that doesn't look like too bad of a recipe, so let's go do that before my elephant starves to death. Whip, a Brachiosaurus, not an elephant. Okay, so I'm actually gonna use this furnace, even though this is te technically the um, super secret furnace that is not supposed to be used for actual use, but oh well. Take your time, Furnace. Take your time. It's not like a Brachiosaur's life hangs in the balance. Aha, one feeder. We probably gonna need more of these, probably one for each pen. So there are a lot of foods that we can feed our herbivores, um, including wheat, apples, um, sugar cane. I think I'm gonna go with carrots because there is no real use for carrots otherwise and I think carrots are getting a bit left out so 
Let's uh, give them something to do. That's going to be to feed my Brachiosaur. Help him see in the dark. Oh my god. You made a lot of friends, didn't you? I hope you don't kill them all. That would be super awkward. So I'm just going to plop some apples in there for now. How does this work? Oh, okay. So you put the food in and it fills up. Okay, the apples went nowhere. Can I put flowers in? Would you eat a flower? They eat flowers. Interesting. How about these saplings? Oh, interesting. Okay, th so as you can see, the feeder is really low right now. So we need to go on a carrot mission. So let's teleport back to the main house and collect our carrot growing supplies. Let's see what we already have in this chest. We've got melons. I wonder if they'll take melons. Let's take them anyway. And we'll take all the carrots with us. And that should be all we need to start ourselves a brand new carrot farm. I'm going to test out the feeder and see if it will take melons so that this guy can eat some melons. Please. Yes. Okay, that's great because we had a lot of melons. <sighs> That should be fine for now, but we're going to need a sustainable carrot farm. I think we'll do that over here, kind of out the way. Now the planting begins, and so starts our mass production of carrots for all the herbivores in our new Jurassic Park. Stay out of here! No! Don't come in here! I'm naked! No! Oh, pigs are following me. Okay, let's pop these in here. I hope you like carrots because you're going to be eating a lot of them soon. Here we go, between two ferns. <laughs> I just realized. I have a plant fossil. I have two plant fossils. I could possibly use these for something. I think I can put them in the culture vat. And I was warned by my cousin that although milk is a really fast way of doing it, it's actually the most likely to fail. So I'm just going to pop some raw beef in there and see if that does any better because we don't want a Phalosaurus exploding all up in here, do we? No, we don't, Gertrude. No, we don't. Hopefully this plant fossil will do something and maybe we'll get a prehistoric tree. I don't know. We could. We, I think a prehistoric tree would look nice in there. If not, plain old jungle tree will do. I think what would look really cool in these pens is some of the saplings from the Harvest Craft mod. So... The ones that use the jungle tree would probably be the coolest. So we can have any of these. So let's go get some jungle wood saplings and some of the fruits to make the harvest craft saplings. Oh, here we go. Here, here are the jungle saplings. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get rid of some of this stuff that I don't need. <laughs> get <it> sneeze! <laughs> okay, so which ones can we use? I believe papaya was on the list. Although I cannot seem to locate a papaya right now. Are there any on here? I guess I'll have to do it the old fashioned way. Oh yes, this would be a cool tree to have in the pen. I want it to look like that. So this is the style of tree that I want. Uh, we could, oh, this one, I love this one. It's dragon fruit. It looks so cool. It actually looks like it's diseased. Shit. So let's combine some of these and Get some saplings. We can go back to the prehistoric times. You know what? I just realized that my wyverns actually kind of look like flying dinosaurs. Except they are clearly not because they're piloting our air balloons and flying dinosaurs could not do that. That is a task only wyverns could master. Oh, you guys, you look so cute. You look like you're blushing. Oh, it's just the side of your mouth. Hey show grow yes oh no that's gone through the glass that's not good oh well uh, wait what's happening why are the leaves disappearing what the heck Do, are you eating them well these trees look beautiful please don't eat them oh can i have that because i would like that <gasps> no i didn't get it but you can have it back nature Oh, a turtle! We should get a pet turtle to um, to live with our dinosaurs. Because turtles are prehistoric, right? But I might need to Google that before I can confirm. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, thank gosh you didn't eat any more of the trees. That's brilliant. So I think we can actually use the Dinopedia to check on our dinosaur every now and then. I always called him a dolphin. You are definitely not a dolphin. 
he's not at full hunger, which is strange, because there's food. I don't understand why you don't eat. Owner LD Shadow Lad, oh dear, oh dear. So the only bad thing is that we can't actually name the dinosaurs like we can name our other animals. I actually really wanted to call this one Grace, which was suggested to me because I realised that this is the biggest dinosaur and she is going to be hella big by the time that she is finished growing. So she's going to be Grace hella big. I think you'll appreciate the pun in there. Grace hella big. So, whoa, did you just grow? So I think what we're going to have to do is just put a sign up somewhere to remind ourselves instead of actually giving her like a name. Yay, it didn't explode. Okay, and we got a paleo raffy sapling, which seems like a thing. So why don't we go plant that? Uh, let's put it right in the center here and bone meal this baby. Whoa, that's tall. That's really, that's really, really tall. That's a lot taller than I was expecting. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty awesome. I wonder if we could have another back here. That would look cool. So let's put the other flat plant, plant fossil. Let's put the other plant fossil in there and that'll be done in another two hours. So now let's move on to hatching some more of my dinosaurs. Um, I think I'm gonna try the Compsognathus next. I'm definitely not pronouncing that right. This egg is tiny compared to the other egg, so I'm gonna guess that this is the smallest dinosaur, so I'm gonna give it the smallest pen, which I believe is this one. There are lots of sheep here. I hope you enjoy it. So we can check the progress with the Dinopedia, and as you can see, he's about to hatch very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the world, Yoda! <laughs> he's so tiny. He's trying to get that chicken. Hmm. I'll bring you chickens. Shall I get rid of these? Where'd you go? You are so tiny! Shall I get rid of these sheep? Because you clearly aren't interested in eating them. I'm gonna lead all these chickens to the Compsognathus cage and see if he will eat any of them. <laughs> chickens only. Exclusive to chickens. So it looks like my baby dinosaur is not interested in eating these guys either. He looks pretty hungry. Oh, here's a list of what he eats, and none of it is chicken. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Apparently, I brought you here under false pretenses. Uh, let's grab some of this pork for my little baby dinosaur. I wonder if I can feed him manually. Oh, he's full. There we go. Now he can eat from that whenever he wants. Let's have a dragon fruit sapling, because these saplings just look so awesome. There we go. I love that. So the chickens was a fail, but hopefully you like these pigs. If any of them can get in the door. And if you don't escape. Oh, the chicken. Oh my gosh. No. N no. This has not gone well. Guys! Worst dinosaur owner ever. I've lost my dinosaur. Has anyone seen a really tiny dinosaur? I mean really tiny. <gasps> there he is! Oh my gosh, you had me so scared. Bad Yoda. No free move for you. Let's just, no. No, don't you dare. <gasps> no, you evil cat. You just killed my freaking dinosaur. Do you have any idea how rare dinosaurs are? I think we should start a Jurassic graveyard over here. So next episode, we'll get a couple of them and they will live, or at least some of them will live, hopefully. So let's move on to the next one. We'll try the Dilophosaurus in this pen over here with the deadly snake inside it. So the Dilophosaurus is almost hatched. So let's see what he looks like. <gasps> Aww, you're kind of cute. Well, so this little guy's gonna be called George Washington because I said so. Oh, I know what would look cool. Maybe not this, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, here's my plan, okay? You stay alive while I'm gone. Try not to die. Oh, wait, I should probably leave a feeder. Is, does the Dilophosaurus eat meat or what? I don't know. Let's leave a bit in both and then we'll see which one he eats. Good idea, Lizzie. So my idea involves traveling back to the dinosaur hut, but not for what you think. I actually want to be here to gather some of these leaves because they will give me saplings of these bushes. I think this one of these bushes would look so cute. Let's try and grow it with bone meal. 
grow. No. Oh, no. That's not gone very well. So since that was a massive fail, I think what the best thing to do would be is to build my own. Like, build a bear, but with bushes. Okay. And the finishing touch is to put a little bone meal down. You, you, could, you could hide in the bone meal because you're so small right now. Ta-da! I like it. It's cute. It's a lot different from the other enclosures, which I do like. Actually, there are two things to do. We have to... We have to build a graveyard. <laughs> we have to do it, guys. We have to build a graveyard specifically for our Jurassic pets. Um, let's put it over there by the tree. So they can rest in peace in the shade of this beautiful tree. That's... What a lovely sentiment that is. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, that's good to know, George Washington. Thanks for letting us all know. Okay, I genuinely can't figure out how to make ancient stone, but I really want to use it, so... I'm just gonna cheat myself some. I don't know how many pets are gonna die, but I assume we're even gonna need more room than this. Now, I've been thinking about this. What would be a really cool idea is to put these skulls on top of the gravestones. Which is a little bit morbid, but it looks pretty cool. Right? Right? We could even do this to the graves in Shadowcraft, but... I don't know, would you guys want me to do that? Now all we need is the signs to mark their graves, so... The first and only dinosaur to have died so far is Yoda. And that was because of a damn cat. So rest in peace, Yoda. I'm sorry I couldn't protect you from the cat. We'll have a Yoda 2.0 in the next episode, I'm sure, along with a couple of others. Yes, also, I wanted to make some signs for the enclosures so that I don't forget their names. Not that I would. <laughs> I probably would. So let's leave a sign on George Washington's enclosure. I'm also going to write his species on here because I probably will forget it sometime in the future. I'm not even sure I spelt that right. <laughs> And let's also put a sign here on Grace Hella Biggs' pen. And she is a Brachiosaurus. She's not exactly hella big yet, but I'm sure that she's gonna grow. Well, she's only two days old, so she could get bigger, you never know. I'm pretty sure I just saw her grow right before my very eyes, so it's possible. But that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Look into my eyes and tell me you don't want to leave a like on this video. Oh, this is really cute. Put my book away. You put my book away. Do -do -do -do.